Today we're going to be showing you how we make these window frames that you've probably seen in our vans before and we want to quickly say thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. We have been getting quite a few questions about our window frames in our van layout guide community. So because we are at that point in this 170 extended 3500 Sprinter van that we are building out, I figured let's show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how we build these window frames. So there are two parts to the window frame that we're talking about here. First, we have the window trim or the window casing. And then the second piece that we have is actually the window frame that goes inside the window. Most people think of this as the window frame but the inner portion is actually the window frame. This is the window casing or the trim. So I'm gonna show you how to make both of these pieces, which are part of the finished product. Okay, so like I was saying, you're gonna to need to cut out the opening for the window as you're putting up your wall material. So the shiplap, we've cut out a space that's about 40 and three quarters by 24 and a quarter. Now, what we're gonna be using to make our frame is three quarter inch, two and a half inch wide poplar, or this is commonly referred to as a one by three actual dimensions are three quarters thick by two and a half inches wide. So I've got just a scrap piece here that I'm gonna to use to take some measurements. One of the first measurements you're gonna to need to take is a measurement of each corner and the depth that you're going to need to make the window frame. So I'm gonna hold this up flat onto the shiplap and I'm going to measure to the closest point of the window frame to the inside edge of the poplar. And so right now I have two and a quarter is my measurement. So, because we wanna leave a gap in order for the window cover to slide behind, I'm gonna take off three quarters of an inch. So that two and a quarter is then gonna become one and a half. All right, so I'm gonna note that in my notebook, then I'm gonna to come to the bottom. To the bottom, I have two and three eighths, so that would be one and five eighths. And you'll repeat that process. Not every corner is the same because of the curve of these windows and the curve of the van. So you wanna make sure that you note each of those points. What that is gonna tell us then is how we are going to, how wide we are going to make our material that's gonna come inside the window and actually come flush, as flush as we want it to the window itself. Now that I have my pieces cut, I'm gonna go ahead and mark them for the width so I've already marked this one two inches, one and three quarters. So I'm gonna be ripping these on the table saw. And then for the horizontal pieces, this is where it gets a little bit trickier because one end is going to be one and three quarters. While the other end is going to be two inches. So this is gonna be the taper cut now I do make these taper cuts on my table saw. If you don't wanna make a taper cut on a table saw, you can use a jigsaw. And again, these dimensions are all based off of the distance to the window that I was measuring inside the van. So I rip these on my table saw and then I'm going to give them all a really good sand. And it's really important that you sand your materials before you assemble because really giving it the sanding quality that you need after it's already been assembled is much more difficult than giving it a, a good pre-sand before you assemble. Now when I assemble, I use wood glue and an 18 gauge brad nailer. Uh, you can use anywhere from a one inch to an inch and a quarter 18 gauge brad nail. I typically use an inch and a quarter when attaching two pieces of three quarter inch poplar. Now I do keep a rag on hand just to clean up as I'm nailing because you don't want that excess wood glue to dry it can mess up your frame in the end when you try to chip it off. Now I'm making the outer frame. With the outer frame, I'm using a Craig jig. You can use a miter cut and nail this outer frame together. Because we are sanding and painting this before it goes in, I actually like to use the Craig. It makes it a little bit easier to assemble um, than using a miter. Again, give it a really good sand. And now I'm all set up to assemble the outer frame using one and a half inch Craig screws, and again, wood glue. And just like before, as I'm going ahead and screwing these together, I'm using a, a rag just to clean up any of that excess wood glue. Clamps are always helpful when using a Craig. And now that I have both of these ready to go, I'm going to glue and nail them together now. Now 
I have designed this so that I have an eighth of an inch reveal all the way around, meaning that the frame overlaps the inside edge of the, the casing or the trim is set back an eighth of an inch from the inner portion of the frame. Frame, casing, we're confusing ourselves here, but hopefully you know what's going on. So I'm checking that review, and then I will start nailing. Now I'm just going to use a wet rag to clean up any excess glue. And we are ready for final painting. So this is actually upside down. This is how it will go in the van. It's ready for its first coat of paint. Go ahead and fill these nail holes first. And then we'll paint the front, the outside edges, the inside edge all white. But on the back, because you will be able to see portions of this through the window, we actually paint the back side, this back edge, all of this that you see on the back will actually be painted black. Okay, now it is time to test the fit. Oh yeah. So you can see I've still got a little bit of room to move it side to side to get it lined up with the window how I want and a little bit of wiggle top to bottom, but I still have enough overlap that I can nail this into my shiplap wall. If you're interested in seeing my actual cut list for these window frames, there is a blog post down below that is on our website, which is built on Squarespace. Again, Squarespace sponsored today's video. We have been using Squarespace for almost six years now to build not only our own websites, but previously when we had a marketing company to build websites for clients. Main reasons, it's super intuitive, super clean, super professional looking, and it's really easy to design a site that fits with your needs. So for example, we have online products that we sell there. We also have our blog, which we link to Amazon affiliate products that are products that you guys will need to do a project like this, like a Craig jig, um, all that sort of stuff. Squarespace just makes it really easy to add to our website as we go. We never have to worry about updates. We never have to worry about plugins. All that stuff is handled for us directly through the Squarespace platform. So thank you, Squarespace. If you guys are interested in checking out Squarespace, you can go to squarespace.com for a free two-week trial. And when you are ready to purchase either your website or domain, go to squarespace.com forward slash 40 hours to get 10% off your website or domain. So I got this all painted. The front is obviously white and then the back we paint black. That's because when you look in from the outside, you will be able to see this if it's you know, painted white as well. So we paint it black and you really can't even tell that it's there just to be a little bit more stealth. And obviously we nail this up. I hope this is the one for this side. Looks pretty good. So we would just nail this in and that's how we build these window frames. A lot of you have wanted to know how to do this for a long time. So we nail it in, fill the holes and do the touch up paint. And then you can still slide your window cover in. So. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like it, leave any comments or questions down below, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.